Hello, GB Networks here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to use the Unify app, or network app, I should say, on the iOS or Android phones to adopt a switch through the app. That way, in case if you don't have a controller, you can kind of do it uh, through a standalone procedure. And it's pretty simple, so I will show you. So um, today I will be using my Unify Switch 860 watt. It's obviously, it's kind of beat up. It's just a testing uh, switch. So uh, I will bring this over to my rack and we will be right back when I bring it over and plug it in. All right, now that we have the switch in my network rack and I definitely should do a video on this, um, how to network an apartment, a 900 square foot apartment. So maybe one day I'll do that. But as you can see, there is nothing, it's not adopted to a controller, nothing like that. It's plugged into my Cisco switch that I have. Um, so I will switch over to my phone so we can go through the network app. All right, now that we are on my phone on iOS, I have an iPhone, so we're going to do it through iOS uh, right now. But if you have any Android, all you do is you just go to Google Play Store, you type in Unify, and it's the same procedure basically. But you just go to your app store, you type in Unify, and it will be the first search. And next, if you see if you've already downloaded it, you'll see this cloud icon. If not, uh, just download like a regular app. So you'll just download it, and we will see you here in a second once everything is downloaded, and we will see you on the login page. All right, now that we have it downloaded and are on the login page, so basically you will you can do it kind of locally. Uh, however, I would recommend just log into your UI account. Easiest way, especially if you're going to try to host it on a controller or something like I do, or a lot of people do. Uh, so just log into your UI account, and which I'm going to do it here now, and it goes pretty fast. So now that we are logged into my Unify uh, account uh, from Ubiquity, you will see this uh, depending on what you have. Uh, I will say if you are going to do a switch, you will need a controller, but you can also do the access points from st uh, in standalone mode, which I will probably go over in a different video, but we're just going to do my switch today. So as you can see, I have two controllers. I have a Raspberry Pi running one of, or a controller that I have. Uh, a Unify controller I should say and then I have Unify Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. So as soon as you log into your Unify account it will not show up until you go into one of your controllers. So I'll just go to my Raspberry controller we will click uh, proceed. Uh, I'm going to say don't al allow and as you can see right up on top here uh, and as you can see right there, it says new device found. It's pretty much, it's just simple as that really. Um, but as you can see, it just popped up right up on the top screen here. Uh, US 860 watt is ready to adopt. So all we go to, you can, I believe, I can't remember if we can do it here or not. I don't think we can. Oh, okay, that's right. Uh, so yeah, we can do it here. So one device found, uh, my Switch 8, 60 watt, uh, and we will do it to my Raspberry controller. So all we do is uh, click setup. We can name our device. I'll just name it, I'll just leave it as default. And we click next, and now it will adopt our device into our controller. So I will be back once this is done. All right, as you can see, the device was adopted um, and we will go back to our dashboard just to make sure. So here we are, we are on my Raspberry controller, uh, my home apartment, I have two sites. I have my home apartment and my parents' house. That's uh, the two sites that I have right now. I'm in the process currently uh, switching over to different sites on different controllers and stuff like that. But yeah, there we go. It Right now it is updating, but that's, that's basically it. It's as simple as that. Uh, that way, sometimes you will have to SSH in, but say if you don't have a computer or a laptop next to you, you can use this app on your phone and it's pretty easy. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, maybe next video I will go into how to use standalone mode, um, one of these other videos. So uh, if you liked it, give it a like if you feel like it. Um, but other than that, I will see you in another video.